you know, everything in this world, as I say, is such an illusion, a farce and a con. And I've, I've said so much about the charitable foundations and organizations. I've read articles over and over the years where I tell you, here's what these companies took in, these big charitable foundations. Here's what they gave out. I told you to get into YouTube and watch the, the video um, was about celebrities. And um, the, the video was incredible. It was Star Suckers, it was called, about celebrities. Not the porno version. Apparently, there's a porno version out there. But Star Suckers about the celebrities. And um, the second part of the video went into the media business and showed you how they just live on handouts from the big PR companies and the UN and all the rest of them. But it also went into the charitable foundations and the big uh, We Are the World projects and how they raked in something like 90-odd, apparently billion dollars were claiming and only a fraction went to Ethiopia. Tiny fraction. And the little fraction that went to Ethiopia was scattered by planes flying over to lead the people into a desert. These are all the ones the government want rid rid of where they died. Because the government wanted rid of those folk. Amazing how it worked together, isn't it? Now here's one to do with Bono. Now these guys all go around too talking about like, prime ministers and presidents must forgive the third world debt. Well, number one, your government should be in the business of lending loans out to other governments. Where's that written in anybody's law? Nowhere. And what do the governments do? They borrow the money they're going to loan out from the World Bank and IMF. And they put their own citizens down as guarantors should uh, those they're lending it to default, which is the third world, which they always do. So they love these guys to come along and tell us, oh, we got to forgive these folks' loans, which we do. Then we are lumped with more and more debt back home. And then your government gives them a new loan. And the same con goes on forever. See how it all works. And these guys all know the big bankers and Rothschilds and so on. Bono, Bono's one. The one foundation, or we are one, you know, uh, comes under fire for giving little over 1% of funds to charity. 1% of what they earn went to charity. And it says, Bono's anti-poverty foundation, anti-poverty foundation, right? One is under pressure to explain its lavish salaries. Because that's where the money goes, folks. After it was revealed that only a small percentage of money it raises reaches the needy. The non-profit organization, which is also political because they push all the political agendas with all the other foundations and NGOs, set up by the U2 frontman, well-named frontman, received almost 9.6 million pounds in donations in 2008, but handed out only 118,000 pounds to good causes, which is 1.2% back after this. Hi folks, I'm back and we're cutting through the matrix. Just finish off the bono here. It says that the revelations about him only give out 1.2% of what came in. Uh, it comes at an embarrassing time for him, uh, who is in New York this week, lobbying governments at, here again, lobbying governments on behalf of the bankers, you know, at the UN's Millennium Gold Summit. That's the communitarianism that we're all to go into, uh, to do more to alleviate suffering in the third world. Meanwhile, he, where's all this cash going, eh? Nice to live like a king, isn't it, under the guise of charity, isn't it, Bono? Hmm. And um, I think Bob Geldof is the other one that does the same kind of thing. And they're all doing the same stuff. They meet with the top bankers and national boys as well. So they're all buddy buddies. And the taxpayer ends up being the sucker as they pretend to get us to give money out to third world, which goes to international corporations in reality. Any money it gets there goes to international corporations to give them work, you understand, so they claim, even though they bring the work in those countries.